Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Book Workshop. Now, a long time ago, probably one of my earliest videos was about this cyclone. And I've been using it for about seven years in combination with the absolutely superb pneumatic NVD 750, which I bought a long time ago. I've had it for years and years, and it gives great service. And I use that combination uh, to take the chippings away from my planing machine. Technically, uh, the extractor hasn't got enough throughput of air uh, to handle the planing machine, but it does a good enough job for me. Now, the key thing is the cyclone. And the reason it's so important is that something like a planing machine will produce a lot of chippings, and in a very short period of time. So therefore, a, a small extractor like the NVD 750 just hasn't got the capacity in its drum uh, to take a sensible quantity of chippings. So by intercepting them, you then end up with the chippings in the drop box. In my case, it's a dustbin. And those can be easily emptied on the compost heap or got rid of in some other way. And one of the important points about using an interceptor like this of any description is that the bag that's in your extractor will last a very long time. I change that bag once a year. Now, the way the cyclone works is very simple. The vacuum is attached at the top here. And then there's a hose that comes off from the side here, which is connected to your machine. And the whole thing is essentially airtight. Now, when this is sucking out the air here, air is being forced into the cyclone through this route. And the chippings then are forced around the outside of this conical column, and they tend by centrifugal force to stick to the outside, whereas the cleaner air without those chippings goes into the extractor. The chippings, as they spiral down, get too heavy for any influence from the extractor, and they then drop in to the drop box below. And that way you end up with relatively clean air going into the extractor and the majority of the dust and chippings going into the bin below. And here you can see the various chippings that I've generated in the last hour or two here in the workshop. Now the seal that I have between the drop box and the unit which includes the cyclone is virtually non-existent. It's just a little groove uh, which happens to be the correct size for the top of the dustbin. And that's worked perfectly well. Now this Cyclone's seen better days, but the company that made it, Cyclone Central, if you remember them, ceased to exist a long time ago. So I can't replace it. And so I put some pressure on Axminster. I said, look, why don't you get a standalone Cyclone that people can buy for the four inch diameter hose so they can use it with their planing machines or whatever else they happen to have. And finally, they've done it. And here it is in its box, it arrived today and I'm gonna take it out and have a look at it uh, for the very first time. Now, in terms of the design, it is essentially the same as the old one, uh, with one notable difference. This is made of powder-coated steel, and therefore it's going to be a little bit more durable than the old one. You may recall that I dropped the old one um, probably about two years ago, and it cracked, hence all the black tape on it. So this is a great improvement. It's got the standard four inch hose connection at the top to go to the extractor and again a four inch connection here to go to the planing machine. If you have a look underneath here, uh, this is a circular plate which then gets fixed onto the top of your drop box, uh, in my case onto that lid that goes on my dustbin. So I'm going to fix that up now and then we're going to put this thing through its paces. Now, astonishingly, the holes for the new cyclone are always exactly the same as the old ones. I've just had to enlarge them very slightly. And that's it. Those are all ready. Now, the hole that I've got in uh, my drop box here uh, to allow everything to come through is uh, a 
about 155 millimetres in diameter. And that's plenty of room for the outlet from the cyclone to come straight into your drop box. Now, this bit here is where my old pressure relief valve used to be. Of course, the old cyclone was made of plastic, so it's quite possible that if you had a blockage in your hose and the vacuum was working flat out, that it could collapse uh, the cyclone itself. Well, this is made of steel. That's not going to happen, so I've closed off that hole. And, of course, this is just a one-for-one -one swap for the old one, so my hoses are fine. Now, I don't have a big Jubilee clip on this one. Uh, that's uh, historical, really, because I used to swap hoses for different uh, purposes a long time ago. But I don't bother now. So anyway, that seems to stay on there pretty well. So let's give it a try. Now, I haven't got a secret switch behind here. I've got a, a trailing socket, which has got magnets on. It means I can position it wherever it suits me when I'm doing planing jobs and turn the extractor on. Well, of course, we don't actually know that it's doing anything, do we? Um, I'll just have a quick look in the drop box and see whether I've got some of this wood in there. And the answer is yes, of course there is. Now, I've tried all sorts of ways of demonstrating the efficiency of this cyclone, but unfortunately my equipment uh, just isn't up to the task. But, you know, cyclones are cyclones, and this is a standard design, and I have absolutely no doubt it's going to be really efficient. But the key thing to remember is that I challenged Axminster to come up with a solution that would provide a four-inch cyclone on the UK market well within the budget of most DIY and home woodworkers. And this is it. And on top of that, this is a cyclone which would work perfectly well in a small professional workshop. And as far as I know, this is the least expensive four-inch cyclone on the UK market today. And what's more, it's made of steel and it's powder coated. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.